hard to truly understand the struggles of others without actually meeting them, talking to them face to face. Since I get to meet people a lot, I feel it's my responsibility to act instead of sitting idly by. Together, Ying and Yang, I am Ling Guang, the Quad's deputy over Nanjiao Isle. Hello again guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be talking about the upcoming characters for the 2.0 version of Aoife Geyser and showcasing their builds, playstyles, skills, and so on. First up is the powerhouse support S Lingguan Lingguan is a fire support unit from the newly added faction Tianyua. She heals, gives shields, and lowers the enemy's elemental resistance. A skill one born from one of Tianan Sect's royal flame techniques, due to Tianan Sect's specialty, there are three forms in actual combat. Rising form, dash towards enemies and attack with folding fans, dealing 700% fire damage. Burning form, quickly dash and attack enemies along the path, dealing 800% fire damage. Intense form, consumes 4 trace, dealing 900% fire damage to surrounding enemies. Team gains dazzling armor on cast. Dazzling armor is a shield equal to 16% of Lingguan's max HP for 14 seconds and skill 2 same as skill 1 but the intense form consumes 4 traits, dealing 1000% fire damage to surrounding enemies. Team gains Cinder Flame on cast. Cinder Flame is when HP is not greater than 70%, instantaneous damage on hit increases by 4%, increasing by an additional 0.4% for every 1% HP below 70%. Skill 3, self or teammates under the effects of Cinder Flame gain more definite the lower their HP. Max definite gain is 150% and under the effects of Brilliant Flames restore 3% HP every 3 seconds when HP is full, gain 3% ultimate charge instead. Brilliant Flames is when HP is not lower than 50%, instantaneous damage on hit increases by 4%, increasing by an additional 0.4% for every 1% HP above 50% ultimate only available forecasting when not in rising sun's state. Unleashes power of the sun, dealing 1000% fire damage. Self obtains 11% divine grace for every sun mark possessed. When users or teammates cast ultimate, obtain 20% ultimate charge. Ultimate skill chain, S Lingguan with S Jin Wu deals 1000% plus, 25% self ultimate skill, fire damage. Self restores max divine grace and S Lingguan deals 1000% ultimate skill level fire damage. Team gains Scorching Sun on cast, which lasts 7 seconds, and Jin Wu's fire damage increases by 15%, and lasts 12 seconds yellow.
不好意思，我在想，你的体质该用什么办法来调理呢？ Here comes the sun chaser. Burn you demon. Ten Lai sword play. Samadhi fire flow. Be gone. Radiant rebound. Time for me to show my true power. This void named universe, fast and chaotic. Take this, this, and this. Yeah. Stop right there, you monster. Next up is S Jian Wu. S Jian Wu, who we get for free from the event and will be able to get to SS from the recurring dream shop. A skill 1 perform a combo attack with 10 suns, dealing 600% fire damage. When in possession of sun marks, every hit will consume 1 sun mark to obtain 1 fire feather stack. Every stack of fire feather increases self skill damage by 2%, last 8 seconds. When in possession of 9 sun marks, casting skill 1 will consume all sun marks to obtain 9 stacks of fire feather and dealing an additional 300% fire damage. When in rising sun state, this skill will change to blazing Jainwu. Blazing Jainwu, wave 10 suns to attack the target, consumes 3 sun marks, and deals 900% fire damage. Skill 2, Jainwu Ablaze, consumes all divine grace, deploying an array at the target's location, inflicting imprison to enemies within the array, last 2 seconds, decreasing their physical, wind, fire rest by 0.1% for every 1 divine grace consumed for 6 seconds, max 20% for fire resistance, 10% for physical and wind resistance, afterwards dealing 300% fire damage. Skill 3, consume all divine grace, dealing 300% fire damage to surrounding enemies, leap into the air and enter rising sun's state. Rising sun, obtain super armor effect, dodge meter consumption decreases by 100%, self obtained 1 stack of fire damage increase effect for every 1 divine grace consumed to enter this state, each stack increases self fire dmg by 0.1%, last till exiting rising sun's state. Consecutive attack casts or dodging will maintain the Rising Sun Aerial Basic Attack, Command Sun Blade to attack the target, dealing 700% fire damage, obtain 1 Sun Mark for every 4 hits. Jainwu Meteor, dive bomb the locked on target, consuming all Sun Marks on hit, dealing 1200% fire damage, every Sun Mark consumed increasing this skill's base damage by 3%, exit Rising Sun state after to with ultimate, practice Tai Hao Sword style to the extreme and perceive a supreme technique, gaining the ability to invoke the power of wind and lightning. Deal 1160% lightning damage. Depending on the self's current stance, self wind damage or lightning damage increases by 30%, last 12 s- Seconds her signature functor is not really needed but when equipped by S Jain Wu every time, Sun Marks in possession reaches the limit of 9, crit rate increases by 3%, Divine Grace limit increases by 5, and Divine Grace gain rate increases by 5%. As for her building, the recommended build is fine she's still way stronger than Flame T-Wire. Thanks for watching, guys. Please feel free to leave a comment if there's anything else you want to know about these upcoming characters, and I don't mind you letting me know if I missed something as well. Please consider subscribing if you like the content and also checking out the no-hit videos I've posted for both upcoming characters. Until next time. <laughs> I was acting. Or was I?